Hey guys, Jimmy the Owl here. Welcome to Wayfinder Wednesdays episode 9. I'm not doing too well still. I've been a bit under the weather and my mouth and tongue have been in some pain recently. Which is why I haven't done any videos and why there's been a lack of uploads on the channel recently. But I don't want to miss Wayfinder Wednesday, especially with everything that's been going on so far. So, if I sound weird or I'm pronouncing things differently than I normally do, it's just because of me not doing too hot just just let it slide for once let's just get straight into this wayfinder wednesday now let's just address the elephant in the room for it is what it is airship syndicate is now taking full control over publishing and developing their game as digital extremes with new management has completely cut off their publishing side of the company just completely laid everyone off and closed down that branch so there's, there's no publishing side which means so we find that now is in this weird predicament where they got through the hard part of publishing at the moment where where they got launched they got all the stability stuff done all the accounts are now being transferred over all the hard stuff has somewhat been done but they're gonna need to find a new publisher come time for full launch or they're just not gonna be prepared for the amount of players and the load of servers that are gonna be needed to get this going as well i don't know what publishers really do but i would think they'd go a long way to advertising and all that fun stuff so like at the end of the day they're going to need a new publisher in the future but at the moment it's not as doom and gloom as everyone's making it out to be and they're actively searching for new ones at the moment what they need to be focused on gameplay wise is adding some stuff to the game to give consensus to come back on a regular basis either dailies weeklies raids cosmetics to grind for uh new items to grind for buffs to grind for stuff like this have an easy way to understand how to get all the items in the game so you know how to get certain accessories and certain echoes make it more clear to the player where these are located as well as you know like i said job board is there ready to get going we need to we need to get that moving i've said in other videos dailies weeklies faction grinds we need more content related to consistent play then we do need more content to progress the game because right now content wise we're already past the point where our level of succeeds are i'm pretty sure the newest boss won't even drop level 30 gear so we can't even grind the stuff from the newest bosses so with that being said it's about time we kind of step back from progression and start looking at grinds that we can give players to make it more fun and enjoyable cosmetics to unlock within the game because right now all cosmetics are bound to the battle pass or the shop some light-hearted not maybe like even just reskins and color differences of the current gear would just be nice as an option to go for faction related gear is another big way to do this uh, just generic weapon skins generic character skins hell like they're on about adding a progression system to the character add like prestige skins you keep ranking up the character through the things there's all of these ideas that we just need one of them in the game as somewhat functional now the next update shouldn't just be look at the cool gameplay changes that's not gonna fix the problem we are band-aiding a problem that needs a proper fix when we're not completely fixing anything we're kind of like mucking around kind of tinkering with the insides and i just i don't know something about it is screaming we need more substance we need more things to do i know player base is always going to be split we don't want dailies we don't want weeklies we don't want power grinds we don't want this we don't want that but we need something Without these grinds, there's no incentive to come back. Without the incentive to come back, the player base drops dramatically. They shouldn't be horrendous grinds. I'm not saying that. They shouldn't be like month-long endeavors that take hours upon hours of your life away. But at the same time, they should be something that you have to put time into if you want to do this side of the content. Some people always say it's always bad to do this, but it's going to be, it's about time that we give something to hardcore players to do. Give them something to grind for, give them something to progress through and have a new idea a new accomplishment a new set of goals to go out and achieve 
currency, add new currencies to go grind for to get items, gears, have some weapons hidden behind these currencies. Like, for example, at the moment, the only way to get weapons is from the weaponsmith. I think it would be a very cool way to put weapons behind some of these walls. Like, imagine if the next raid has a very, very, very small chance to drop. They put a weapon in there, the final boss. That would be awesome. Not a blueprint, but a weapon. Because I want this to be like a long endeavor and I want it to not just be a quick romp through to the boss. The whole weapon should just drop at the boss, giving you such a more fulfilling read when you finally get that boss drop. These things would be amazing to have. Alternate ways to get items, alternate ways to grind, other things to do, weeklies, dailies, faction grinds, coin grinds, anything to just keep a player invested and going for as long as they can and then they can build on top of that we have a foundation now we have the beginning story from start middle and end to the reaver king and we've got enough side quests now to keep people tied over for new players it's about time we start adding a baseline grind for end game players slash uh, hardcore players to go do give us something to do while we're waiting for this new content to drop that's just my idea though and they're saying they're coming out with bold changes, so I'm hoping this is the kind of idea of bold they're looking at. If they just go with, look, we changed the meta and some weapons a little bit, I will have a video out to kind of say this was not what we needed to do and point out the problems with it. But until then, hopefully I feel better in the near future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.